Hello, hello. This is Kim Wade from Energy. Thank you so much for watching the third video. In the first video, I talked about my epiphanies, the my life experience that put me on the path to do this transformative work that I do. In the second video, I talked about who we are is who we surround ourselves with. If we are surrounding ourselves with people who don't really care about their health and wellness and, and they don't really notice how they're showing up in their life, chances are you're doing the same thing. So we wanted to notice who we're hanging out with and notice maybe where we could bring some more people in if we feel that we're deficient in some ways. And in this video, this final video, we're talking about what yoga philosophy calls us the Dinacharya. These are daily self-care rituals that we want to be doing every single day so that we are building lives of integrity and lives not only that we love, but lives that we truly enjoy living. And that's different, isn't it? Lives that we love, like, I want to have this and this and this and this. And then it ends up being very depleting or very despairing. It's not what you dreamed of at all. That's different. But this, we're building lives that we love, that we want to be doing. We want to be living. We want to be fully present for. So Dinacharya, healthy habits on a continual basis, small little bites every single day. And that is what I do, the inner circle. So I've taken my women, my women's group, and I've brought us all together in a community. So here you get the cheerleaders, you get the challengers, you get the mentorship, and you get the path, these seers and these yogis for thousands of years who've shown us the way. You get all of that when you join my inner circle. Every single month is a different healthy habit. This month being moving into February, we're talking about early to dinner, early to dinner. This is building in that intermittent fasting time, eating an early dinner, not eating again until the next morning. You get all of this time for your digestive system to really move through that energy of food that you've eaten so that you get a great night's sleep and you're ready to go in the morning. It's the easiest way to start thinking about losing weight for those of you who struggle with that. But even more than that, it's a way to build this machine in its most healthy way. Think about driving a car across country and never giving the car a break. It's going to run out. Well, at nighttime, when we slow down our eating and we start to take that time to let our bodies digest, like I said, we're going to sleep better because our body is not busy trying to churn. And, um, and then we wake up and we're hungry and we're ready to go again. Uh, this month in our January, we did our morning routine. We're building tongue scraping, washing our face, moving, breathing, meditating. And it doesn't matter where you are. Some folks are trying to you know, build a 20 minute meditation. Some folks are trying to get out of bed before noon. It doesn't matter where you are in your healthy habit now. Everybody in our inner circle group, everybody in our women's group is coming to the table with where they are and where they want to go personally, but we do it in a group together. Last month in December, we did early to bed. We built a nourishing bedtime routine. We looked at our surroundings. Are my curtains dark enough? Do I love my blanket? Is this the best pillow for me? Is it quiet enough? What time am I going to bed? What am I putting into my brain before I sleep so that I wake up feeling really well rested and not anxious and nervous. So we build these little healthy habits every single day. And again, wherever you are, it's not, we're all on the same path. We're all vegan or we're all trying to, you know, um, study in a two hour yoga practice every day. Some folks are just trying not to go through the drive through. Some folks are just trying not to smoke that cigarette. It doesn't matter where you are. We are meeting all of us at the same place at the same time, building from there. So the inner circle group is a healthy habit group that I would love for you to join. It's a women's only group. Sorry, fellas. It's a women's only group. And it's a place for us to come together with the mentorship of me, where we're doing the same habits every month, every year. I've been running the group for, I, I don't know, seven, eight years now. A lot of the members are from the very beginning because each year, each year you're learning more and more and more about yourself.
And I'd love for you to join. We have spots available in the Monday night at seven o'clock class. And we have spots in the Wednesday at 11 a.m. class. Every week we come to the meeting, we sort of dive into the healthy habit. We're doing it in playful ways. We play games, we do breakout sessions where we talk with one person at a time where you're joining up like that. We do retreats, we do work, specialty workshops, we build healthy habits as a daily way of life. So that again, you not only are building the life that you love, but you're doing it in a strong, strong community. And you're understanding that the stuckness, the stuckness, the, the not knowing why you can't accomplish your goals, those mindset patterns start to become more aware to you, more mindful of them. And that's where you make your shift. Okay. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you're not going to join the inner circle, I still question, can you build healthy habits every day? Can you do just a couple things in the morning, just a couple things every night so that you feel that you're bookending your day morning and night for yourself. And so that all the rest of the time you can give without resentment. Okay. Second, you're bringing in community. You're noticing who's in your life and who's not in your life. And you're making sure you have balance there. And then third, are you transforming? Are you transforming? We're always evolving, right? We're always growing. We're always expanding, whether we're aligned with it or not, it's happening. How do I know? Because we'd still be wearing diapers. We'd still be crawling. Every time we learn one thing, we're wanting more. We're wanting more. We're wanting more. And so I hope that you join the inner circle. It's a lovely group. And um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for being you right where you are. I truly sincerely mean that. Deep bows. Namaste.